Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow! What is up you guys? Welcome back. Today we're gonna be testing out some TikTok foods. I am so excited. I can't tell you the last time I did this. I used to do a bunch of these where I would try out like TikTok food hacks, just TikTok recipes. I had the gastric sleeve in September of last year. It's been like eight to nine months already. Like time has flown by and I'm able to eat a lot more than I was able to eat like in the very beginning. Of course, my portions are still much smaller. I thought I was like, will I ever be able to do like these eating videos again? I would probably not be able to do a mukbang, that's for sure. But we could do like a taste test with these and we have Raul here we got Mia and we could all try these foods that we've seen on TikTok I'm so excited I feel like TikTok never fails me with these food recipes let's get to it okay so I saw this pink pasta it looks really cute but is it good we're gonna find out right now so there was no exact measurements to this we're gonna eyeball it to taste which is gonna be hard because I've never made this kind of pasta ever. I don't even know what it tastes like. It just looks cute and that's why we're making it. Let's just boil some water because that's that's with any pasta. Okay, let's turn this on. Okay, so you need different ingredients. It's not a lot of ingredients, but it's ingredients I don't use. You need raw beets. I gotta be honest, I've never cooked any meal in my life with raw beets in it. You need cucumber, dill, chives. Never used any of that, honestly. Blavne? I don't know how to pronounce that word, but it's technically plain Greek yogurt. You need salt, pepper, lemon, olive oil, garlic, pine, nuts. And then there's spiral pasta. This is the best we can get. This is spiral, basically, right? But I seen like the super curly one from the video, but it wasn't gonna get here on time. And I think while this is doing its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this sauce over here. So first things first, great cucumber. How much? Let's see. Okay, I kind of just have to eyeball it. I feel like I'm making juice, y'all. I feel like this is like trying to create watermelon. All right. First thoughts. Messier than I expected. <laughs> also, like I saw some videos where they use like these beats the size of my head and I'm like, where are y'all finding these? I'm gonna have Raul just peel these for me real quick and he's probably gonna grate them. And <laughs> he finishes the rest of the video like, what? I'll take care of the pasta. Y'all look at this, oh my God. And that's what's adding the color, y'all. Who needs red 40 when you got beat, girl? So dill, never used this ever in my life. I can't tell if it smells familiar or not. Let me give it a rinse. Pickles? Use dill for pickles. What? Ooh, it smells like pickles. And then chives. That looks like about right. What next? Olive oil. I'm at a good amount of this, girl. I like my, my food seasoned. Okay, garlic. Lemon juice. I'm gonna mix this up now, guys. Let's see how this turns out. It's a little liquidy. I don't know if I let too much juice in there. Dang, this is like magenta. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be gorgeous. Okay, let's give it a little taste test real quick. I don't even know what it's supposed to taste like. <sighs> this needs some salt. All right, I'm gonna start scooping this in because I don't think we need all of it. I mean, this is super pink, you guys. Like, I did not have to add much. Look how much I have left of this. All right, so a little bit of dill, like as garnish. As you put in chives. Oh, chives. See, I'm telling y'all, I don't use these ingredients. Oop, it's a whole branch, girl. And then some nuts. It looks so cute. All right, let's take a little bite, guys. I'm gonna make sure I get a little bit of everything. What? This is pretty good. It's giving fancy restaurant. I feel like this is not something I would go out of my way to order, but like if I was eating this at a fancy restaurant, I would be like, oh, it's pretty good. I don't know, it's a vibe. It's kind of like, I feel rich. It's creamy, but. Okay. I can't even describe it. I like the texture, like it's like creamy, but I feel like it's missing like meat, <laughs> like chicken. 
some lemon chicken would mm. be really nice. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Lemon chicken. Like will lemon be good. herb chicken or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ooh. She doesn't want to try it. I give this like a good five out of ten. I feel like a lot of it is like the aesthetics, right? Like it looks cute, but I don't know if I ever make it again, honestly. Okay, y'all. So this one is the one where you use the fruit roll-ups and ice cream. I swear I saw this going around like two years ago or maybe last year i don't know but i remember it was all over tiktok like a year or two ago and it kind of like died down a little bit and i know i had tried it but it's basically fruit roll-ups you guys i've seen it in different ways i've seen people do like you know like a fruity ice cream like you know like mango sorbet or whatever and i also saw somebody doing it with vanilla ice cream i was like okay that looks a little odd sometimes your taste buds will shock you so a little scoop in there, how big? About that much? Roll it up. Oh my goodness. It's already getting so hard. Like I just feel it already. This is so easy, y'all. That's it, look. Look, I already actually cracked it. I cracked it with my nail on accident. But we're gonna freeze these so that they get extra crunchy. We gotta try the vanilla ice cream one. I feel like I'm gonna be shocked by that one. Okay, that's good enough. I'm gonna put them in the freezer for, I feel like even just like an hour max. And we're gonna try them out, ah! Mmm. I literally left them in there for like not even an hour and I think they're ready. This one, I'm not gonna put tahini chamoy because this is the, the, this is the vanilla one. And I really wanna see what this tastes like. Let's do it. Mmm. What? What was that? What was that? Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. No, really. And I sound like I'm exaggerating, but I'm shocked because the vanilla one is really good. It goes so good with a fruit roll up. I thought it was weird, not gonna lie. Okay, let's add some chamoy to this one. This is the mango one. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, especially summer coming up, y'all gotta get on these like now. Now. Imagine. I'm all screaming. Oh. Y'all hear that? Ow. Oh, my shoe. I'm cold. Mmm. Mm. She would love. Mm -hmm. She loves chamoy. Wow. Mia, look. Amazing. You want some? This is fruit roll up with vanilla ice cream. Mmm, okay. Isn't it delicious? Pretty good. I'm gonna sound crazy, but I think I like the vanilla more. Like, that's how good the vanilla is. Gives me like a orange creamsicle aftertaste. Mm. You know what I mean? Spot on. But like with a fruit roll up. Yeah. Red 40. <laughs> <laughs> red 40 creamsicle. Not the red 40. It's what it's tasting like. A red 40 creamsicle. <laughs> okay, this is delicious. All around, 10 out of 10. A million out of 10. You have to try it. If you have not tried the fruit roll ups with ice cream, I'm telling you right now, I think every flavor would be good. Guys, I've been seeing this Chick-fil-A bowl hack all over TikTok. You mix a bunch of stuff together. Let's get to it. Let, let's just get it in here. And I'm a little sad because they didn't give me like that like sad. <laughs> Did I just blow your eardrums out? <laughs> Guys, I really wish they <laughs> would have given me those like, what is it that you order that they give them those salad looking bowls? They usually mix it in that, but I might just have to mix it up. Whack! It's kind of like, like the Kardashians with their salads, except it's uh, chicken nuggets, fries, and macaroni and cheese. <laughs> That's my type of salad. For this, you need large fries, you need chicken nuggets, and mac and cheese. Chick-fil-A sauce, which I love, and I use this with everything, so love her. And we got their ranch, too. And then we ordered buffalo sauce, because that's how I saw it. There's people that add, like, barbecue sauce. I think it's just adding, like, your favorite sauces. But this is the recipe I saw the most. Okay, so fries. All of them? That's a lot. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of these out, because I feel like it might be a lot of fry for the, the mac. Mac and cheese. Beautiful. Beautiful. And the chicken nuggets. Some people were like cutting them up, chopping them up like a salad. I could see why y'all chopped them up because they're a little big, but like, why didn't you just rip them up? Mmm. I love their chicken nuggets. Mix it up. I think I could use all the fries, honestly. Okay, so ranch. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Oh. Oh. That flow. These nozzles on here? The quality is amazing. 
Never mind. Y'all, this looks good. Buffalo. Okay, let's try that first. This looks so good. I have this, and it's gonna have to work. Yeah, that looks so good. We got a little bit of mac and cheese, a little bit of the fries, and the chicken. Mm. Okay, you I get it. This is definitely like a munchies vibe, like the very munchies uh, meal vibes. Mm, mm-hmm. It's one of those things where you're just like, I just want something like really carby and just like uh, sloppy. This like this is it, you know? Mm. Yum. You want mac and cheese? She loved it. Mia likes it. Mia and proves. toddlers are like super picky. This one's pretty so picky. So it's good. You know it's good. I can see myself craving this randomly. It's just so filling that I'm like, I wish I could eat more. But like, I'm already like, whew, girl. You guys, my baby actually liked this so much, she's asking for more. I think that's a 10 out of 10. That's a 10 out of 10, all around. Okay, so this next one, you guys, I've seen it recently on TikTok. I've seen it on YouTube and TikTok. And apparently, like, there's this really famous restaurant in Japan, if I'm not mistaken. They put soft serve ice cream in ramen. And I saw some people on TikTok, like, testing it out at home. And they say it's bomb, so I'm like, I have to try this out. Oh my gosh, look at this big old bowl of ramen, you guys. I'm gonna try it before adding the ice cream, just so I know the difference, you know? Mm. Yum. Okay, we got the ice cream. I'm gonna literally just sit it on top. Literally just flop it on like that. Oh my goodness, that looks so cool, looks so cool. Do I just like, oh my gosh, okay. This is crazy. I have to get like random videos of this because I might make a TikTok out of this. Mm. Wow. It adds something. I'm shocked. Guys. Hold on. So because this is spicy, it adds a little bit of like, <clears throat> it's really spicy actually. It adds a little bit of sweetness to it, so it's like sweet with a kick. I like the areas that have a lot of it. Like if I do this, straight up like this, and get a little bit of ice cream in there, even better. That is delicious. This is the best ramen I've ever had. It seems like a weird combination, but like literally, you could enjoy your cone like you could even just like straight up enjoy this together. Put some ramen on it. Delicious. This is a 20 out of 10. Mm. It's good, creamy, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a oh, spicy kick. Take a bite of this. Literally put noodles on it. Mm. Put the noodles. Mm. Isn't that so good? Mm -hmm. Isn't it bomb roll, really the ice good. cream? It's really good, yeah. Y'all, it's delicious. All right, you guys. I have also been seeing the sour belts, the frozen sour belts. All you do is pop them in the freezer. Some people say you just pop the sour belts in the freezer for one hour. Some people say overnight. Some people say 48 hours. And I'm like, ain't nobody got time for you to like get these sour belts and put them in the freaking fridge for days and just hope they work. So... I'm gonna leave mine in the freezer for a few hours. And if it works, it works. If it don't, I don't know how y'all are doing it because a lot of people, it either just like, it's just not crunchy at all. And for some people, it literally looks like they're biting into bacon. I'm so excited to get into that crisp, but I really, really hope it works. All right, these have been in the freezer. They've been in the freezer for a few hours, so I'm scared that, like, did they work or not? I don't know. Let's give it a try. Oh, it's like they break like at a first bite but then they soften up they bend they're really good cold i just really want to get that crunch they didn't get crunchy for me i think you have to leave them in for much longer that was in the freezer for a few hours i might even try it in a couple days see if it works then several days later okay i wanted to try it one more time these have been in there for literally like uh days now literally so they have to work huh Mm -mm. It's literally been a week and 
they're still chewy. I don't understand. Like, did they just stay too long in the fridge? I don't know, girl. Let me know what I'm doing wrong because I want to try this and it's just not working out for me, so. This was so much fun, you guys. We all ate today all kinds of food. Who doesn't love food, girl? I don't even know which one was my favorite one. Was it the ramen? I think the ramen is my favorite. That ramen is so, so good with ice cream, y'all. You gotta try it. It's just, it adds to it. Oh my God, the fruit roll-ups, obviously amazing. The, I think these were all a hit. None of them were bad at all. Even the pink pasta wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't bad. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys wanna see me do more of these videos because I love testing out TikTok food hacks. Like they are the absolute best. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.